Hello friends. The currency notes in India were introduced in 18th century for the first time. The Bank of Hindustan and the General Bank of Bengal introduced paper currency for the first time in India. They brought a new revolution in Indian economic system. And for the first time, the currency in India was known as rupee. In India, currency has been used in form of notes and coins. In today's situation, 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 5 rupee, 10 rupee, 50 rupee coins are also used as a currencies. Similarly, 5 rupee, 10 rupee, 50 rupees, 100 rupees, 500 rupees and 2000 rupee notes are used. These notes and coins are used in market to exchange goods. Every Indian will have these notes and coins in his purse. And we use these coins and notes on a regular basis. But do you have any idea where these coins and currency notes are manufactured, in what volume they are produced, how much cost is incurred to produce these coins and currency notes, what paper is used, what color is used, what metal is used to manufacture these coins, all this information I am going to provide in this video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and press bell icon for a video notification. Friends, in short, first let us know the history of currency notes in India. For the first time in India, the paper notes were introduced in 1862. British government gave permission to produce these notes to a Britain company. Till 1920, all paper notes were used in India were manufactured in same Britain company. All notes were printed in the same Britain mint as well. In 1926, for the first time in India, the first currency printing mint was established in Nasik in Maharashtra. But due to the huge demand for the currency note, British company continued to produce currency notes in Britain as well. After the period of independence, Indian government decides to start one more currency printing unit in Devas of Madhya Pradesh in 1975. Though the second unit was started, the demand for the paper currency was getting more and more. Hence, government of India decides to import notes from America, Canada and England as well. Even after that demand was growing, hence the government of India decides to start third unit of currency notes printing in 1999 in Mysore in Karnataka. And the fourth unit of currency printing unit was established in Salboni in West Bengal in 2000 as well. Till today all four currency notes are printed in these four units in India. And moreover, the currency notes are not imported from any other country in the world. The coins used in India are all manufactured in Indian mints only. These mints are in Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Noida. Every coin produced in these mints have their own uniqueness and every coin has its own sign as well. Looking at these signs, one can recognize where these coins are produced. For example, if the diamond sign is below year of manufacturing, one can say that it is manufactured in Hyderabad. If there is a circle below the year of manufacture, then one can say it is manufactured in Noida. Moreover, coins produced in Kolkata doesn't have any sign below year of manufacturing. Now coming to paper notes. The unit in Debas in MP produces 10 rupee, 50 rupee and 500 rupee notes. Mysore in Karnataka produces only 2000 rupee currency notes. You will be amazed to know that currency notes produced in Devas in Madhya Pradesh, 10 rupee, 50 rupee, and 500 notes are produced here. More than 265 crore pieces of notes are produced. According to RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India, made a statement that India produces more than 2000 crore notes every year. To produce these notes, more than 60% of cost is spent on paper and color itself. To produce these paper notes, the paper is made up of cotton. 
and a unique color is used apply the color to these nodes these currency nodes color is imported from a company called scene This is a Swedish company which produces large amount of color for currency notes and it exports to many countries such as Germany, Britain, Japan and more and more countries. These imported paper are rolled in machine. In another machine the imported color are used. In one paper sheet 26 to 28 currency notes are produced. To insert a silver thread in notes another unique machine is used. There is another machine which impresses a watermark on every notes. Every currency note has its unique number as well. Finally, the manufactured currency notes are given to 18 branches of RBI recognized branches. From here, notes are distributed across India through many Indian banks. Friends, till now we understood how the currency notes are manufactured, how the papers are used, how the colors are purchased, but now we will come to know how much cost is incurred to produce these notes. For example, to produce 10 rupee notes, the cost incurred is 1 rupee 1 paisa. The same amount is spent on to produce 50 rupees notes as well. To produce 100 rupee notes, the expenditure is 1 rupee 51 paisa. Similarly, to produce 500 rupees notes, you have to spend 2 rupees 57 paisa. The more amount is spent to produce is 2000 rupees, where the cost is 4.57 paisa. As I said earlier, according to RBI, more than 2000 crore notes are produced every year in India. And 50 lakh notes are spoiled every year. Hence, the cost of production of notes is increasing every year. Due to this, there is an onus on our economy. Hence, our Prime Minister is requesting again and again to exchange money using digital method and stop using currency notes. This will help Indian economy as well and even transaction will be transparent. Friends, what you learned from this video, do comment. Till then, take care.